Shut up and sit down. It is properly cold out here this morning. I'm going to get a digital thermometer. Let's see how cold the car is. Minus 1.4. That's what the car sat here at. It's been outside all night. Let's do a cold start. Because I need to use this car in a bit. So I need to defrost it. Right, we'll leave that running. Let everything be frost. Let's go and do a cold start on the MR2. This is the coldest temperature that I've actually owned this MR2 at. I've never done a cold start on it since I've owned it. Admittedly, it's not as cold in the garage. We've got two degrees on the car. Yeah. Engine's 2.1 degrees, so it's still pretty cold, but it's out of the frost. Let's see if she starts. You should do. Well that's both cars running, I'll let this warm up, Yaris is now warming up, and uh, the, Yaris, the Yaris has actually been outside all night. So that's two successful cold starts this morning. I know it's not mega cold, but it's the coldest it's been so far this year, up to date. Because it's 1st of December today. Happy 1st of December. Christmas isn't far away. If you come out to your car, and you find it absolutely covered in ice like we've just seen on the Aris. I personally never ever used the icer on this car. I'll come out to the car 10 minutes before I'm due to go out. Because the car's equipped with heated windscreen heated rear window and heated mirrors what I'd advise is coming out to the car 
turning the air conditioning on as high as it will go using them two buttons leave them on until it's melted all the ice off the windscreen as you can see every single window is now defrosted 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 back windows defrosted all the side windows are defrosted you don't want to be out driving with limited visibility that's what I always do on a cold morning come out 10 minutes early push the magic two buttons aircon high start the car and let the car defrost itself naturally rather than putting the uh, harsh chemicals onto the car and it's only taken five minutes and it's given me the time to go and cold start the MR2 which you've also seen in the video admittedly it's not as cold in the workshop as it is outside it's minus was it 1.4 outside and it was about 1.5 degrees in the workshop so the temperature difference is what well, two degrees three degrees and both cars have started really really nicely so I'm going to leave the Yaris warming up let's go and uh, check on the MR2 Fast idles dropped. Oh, there's plenty of heat in here now. And the temperature gauge is slowly, slowly rising. This is a car I actually always warm up and leave running for a couple of minutes before I actually take it out on the road if I reverse it out the garage now and I was going out in it this is how I do it start it up let it warm up for a little bit get it out the workshop and I won't drive it hard until it's actually at running temperature I know a lot of people just jump in the cars and drive them I've never been one of them people because I know this MR2 takes a long time to warm up because the, there's the best part of 10 litres of water in this car it's got a lot of coolant in it not bad for a 23 year old car 130,000 miles to still be capable of starting that easily on a cold morning the GR Yaris well I expect that to start whatever the temperature it's a modern car they're designed to do it and designed to do it easily you saw how much ice was on that car when I came out to it and it hasn't taken very long at all to defrost These vents on the um, 
engine cover actually do something I can actually feel heat coming through them vents already let's have a look that's just heat coming out of the engine bay it's already at nearly 40 degrees heat rises so it comes up through the bonnet vents You can see the temperature difference between the front of the car and where the engine is and all the radiant heat that's now coming up through the engine bay. Even the rear wings are a lot warmer than the front of the car. There's quite a temperature variance across the car. That's a lot of heat coming through there. How much heat's in the cabin? Because I do have the heater on. Yep, we've got 24 degrees coming through the air vents. Near as damn it. And we're almost up to temperature. It's nearly halfway up the gauge. Fast idles dropped right off. I'm just going to let it warm up, let the fan come on. And then I'm turning the MR2 off. Because I'm not going to use this thing today. <laughs> 